starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Brought to you by... were made for walking. Oh, well, I'm having trouble with this typewriter. Well, you shouldn't have. It's a brand new electric typewriter. A child could run it. Well, I'll bet Tom Edison himself couldn't work this one. Couldn't I have my old typewriter back? No. You simply have got to learn how to run that electric typewriter. Well, couldn't I break in slowly, like maybe on a gas typewriter? <laughs> this is no time to be facetious, Mrs. Carmichael. Well... Now, did you put the paper in properly? Of course. Did you hit the keys properly? Yes, I did. Did you plug it in properly? Oh, plug it in. <laughs> oh, you must think I'm a perfect idiot. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> but you'll do until the real thing comes along. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, this is an electric typewriter. Yes, sir. This is the plug for the electric typewriter. Yes, sir. And this is the outlet that supplies the electricity for the electric typewriter. Oh, Mr. Mooney, now, I don't... Now, please don't interrupt. Now, the typewriter will not work without electricity. We must plug it in. So... Mr. Mooney, please I... Please don't interrupt. So, we plug this into that... That's what I tried to tell you. That outlet has a short circuit. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, Mr. Mooney, we plug this into that thusly. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Mooney, this machine is wonderful. You know, it practically types by itself. I'll bet someday they invent a typewriter that does type by itself. And then you wouldn't need me. May I live to see the day. <laughs> well, I don't think that was a very nice thing for you to say. No, you don't. No, I don't. You know something? You're always finding fault with me. If I'm so incompetent, how come you picked me from the secretarial pool? Picked you? You were the only one left. <laughs> you know, you're lucky you got me. Good help is very hard to find these days. I know, I'm still looking. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier for me to go out and get another job than for you to find another secretary. You get another job? Ha! I could get another job if I wanted to. Well, it would be very interesting to see just what kind of a job you think you're qualified for. Well, I'm qualified for a lot more than you ever give me credit for. And I'd like a chance to prove it. I'll tell All you that. All right, good, good. Why don't we start by looking in the help wanted section of the newspaper? That's a very good idea. Oh, here we are. A help wanted female. Uh, excellent position open for unusually talented young lady college graduate with a master's degree in psychology and a thorough background in calculus, trigonometry, and mathematical analysis. Must speak six languages and be expert at operating a digital computer. What's their phone number? You're going to apply for the job? No, I'm going to call them and tell them not to count on me. Uh, Think not. Oh, here's another job that you're not qualified for. Mr. Wanted. Mooney, if you don't mind, I'd prefer to select my own new job. Well, I was just trying to help. Thank you, but I'd like to find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's one. It's an ad for an employment agency that specializes in unusual jobs. The unique employment agency. We get odd positions for odd people. Oh, that's you, all right. <laughs> never mind. I'm going right down and see them. They'll never find a job for anyone as incompetent as you are. I am not incompetent. I know what I'm doing every minute, and don't you... <laughs> oh, never mind that. Never. 
Never mind, jo I'll take care of her. Go, go, go. All right. Oh, she knows what she's doing every minute. Before we talk about your employment problems, um, I have some background information I'd like to ask you. Yes, ma'am. Um, name? Lucille Carmichael. Address? The Glen Hall Apartment, 780 North Gower Street. Age? Oh, well, would you mind putting down over 21? <laughs> over 21. Way over. <laughs> Education? Uh, yes, I'm a high school graduate, and I had two years of business college. Almost. Perhaps we should give you an aptitude test to find out the type of work for which you're qualified. All right. Now, this will be a word association test. I'll mention a word, and then you say whatever word pops into your head. Mm -hmm. Summer. Winter. Hot. Cold. Legs. Walk. Hair. Dye. <laughs> I, I just use a little Hannah. <laughs> Lift up. Carry. Grant. <laughs> Carry. Grant. Yeah. <laughs> What type of job would an answer like that qualify you for? I don't know, but it's nice work if you can get it. <laughs> well, I've had all kinds of answers from applicants, but Cary Grant? Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind working for him in any capacity. And you know, these days, he could use a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Say, would you like to do some babysitting? Oh, I sure would. Does Cary Grant need a babysitter? No, 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 no. This is a wonderful babysitting job. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Oh, now there are three children, uh -huh. and it pays $5 per hour per child, with a guarantee of three hours. Oh, wow, that's $45. I'll take it. Well, you can have it if you qualify. Oh, well, I, I raised two children of my own. They're away at school now. Oh, well, then you know all about the care of baby. Oh, I certainly do. I always followed a simple poem that my mother taught me. Uh, if you want a happy baby, here's the thing to try. Keep one end fed and the other end dry. <laughs> oh, that's very good child psychology. Oh, you'll do just fine for this job. Thank you. Now, uh, the family name is Winslow, mm -hmm. and it's at 1711 Valley Meadow Road. You'll be there at 7 o'clock tonight. Yes, ma'am, I will, and thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, Mrs. Winslow. This is Miss Allman. Oh, I have good news for you. There'll be a babysitter there tonight at 7 o'clock. No, I didn't tell her about the children. I was afraid if I did, she wouldn't take the job. Darling, what time is the babysitter going to get here? I told you before, 7 o'clock. I hope this one stays long enough for us to get out of the house. Yes, dear. Darling, why don't we ever hire an animal trainer instead of a babysitter? An animal trainer? Yes, dear. After all, they are chimpanzees, and chimpanzees are animals. They're just as human as you are. Yes, dear. Oh, that must be the babysitter. I'll get it. I'll get it. You round up the children. Yes, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my, what a lovely room. Well, it's a little messy just now. The children have been playing in here all day. I understand. My, they certainly have a lot of nice toys. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that wonderful tree. Children love to climb trees. Especially ours. They can climb more they can walk. <laughs> they sound like very unusual children. Yes, they are. <laughs> what are their names? Their names are Danny, Charlie, and Bobby. Oh, how wonderful. Three boys. No, 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 no. Bobby is short for Roberta. Oh, Roberta's the baby. Now, she'll require a little extra attention, of course. Naturally. Now, she has to be in bed by 7.30. She sleeps here in the crib. Mm -hmm. That's her nightgown. Mm -hmm. The milk and the cereal over here. The boys sleep back here in oh. these bunk beds. These bunk beds are and wonderful. Yes, and these are their pajamas. <laughs> Uh, aren't the sleeves uh, a little long? No, not for them. <laughs> he likes to be rocked 
and sung to at bedtime. Do you know any lullabies? Uh, yes. Uh, does she like, uh, Rockabye Baby in the treetops? Oh, she loves the part about the treetops. <laughs> in fact, she likes all kinds of music. She likes rock and roll, Dixieland, boogie woogie. <laughs> well, for a baby, she sounds like a real swinger. <laughs> They're all swingers. Oh, that's why we have the tree. <laughs> I can hardly wait to meet the little darlings. Oh, here they come now. Well, yes, they're cute, all right. Aren't they a little unusual looking? Yes, they're monkeys. You said that, I didn't. <laughs> so that's why this babysitting job pays so well, huh? Yes. You're not going to back out, are you? Uh, no, I, I, I can use the money. Good. Well, let's get going, Jonathan. Yes, Come on. dear. Get the baby to Mrs. Carmichael. Don't be good boys. Come yeah. along. We'll be back right after the movie. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Are you Charlie? Danny? Come here, Danny. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Hey. Hey there, fellas. Hello, Rosie. Pocket full of cozy. Off or down. Off or down. All right, all right. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now, boy. Stop it. Danny, sit up there in the chair. Sit up there in the chair. Listen, now you hold the baby for me. Come on. I'll ride the horsey with you, Charlie. Get on the horsey. Hold the baby now, Danny. Danny, hold the baby. Do you hear me? Hold on to the baby. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Get up on the bunks, Charlie, and play. Danny, come on, get up on the bunks here. I'll take the baby. Get up on the bunks and play. Come here, Charlie. Come on, get up here. Way up on top, Charlie. Way up on top. Now get up there and play. I just got to get the baby to bed. Come here, Bobby. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, Danny, Danny, come on back. Danny, come on, get over in the bunks. Please. Let me get the baby to bed. Oh, good heavens. Now stay there and play by yourselves, you hear? Oh. Oh, boy. Those brothers of yours. Oh, good heavens. Hang on. Oh. Off we go and into our nighty. Come on, darling. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, that's a good baby. Put your arm in there. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm exhausted. I don't know about you. I'm ready to go to bed. Oh, you haven't even had your din din yet. You ready for your bottle? Oh, turn it on, honey. That's it. I got a facet here. Put your head up. That's a good baby. Her's a good baby. Her getting tired, isn't her? Those brothers are so crazy. Come on, Oh. Now, how about our bottle, huh? How about our bottle? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, don't, just take it easy. Take it easy. We're going to sit down, we're going to rock, and we're going to have our bottle. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, boy, please, stick that in your mouth. Now, 
boys. You mustn't fight like this. Danny, sit up here in the chair. Yes, Charlie, leave him alone. Oh, honestly. He <laughs> hates that. Charlie, Charlie. Danny, sit up here in the chair. Let go of Charlie. Oh, boy. Danny, will you get up there? Charlie, shame on you. Charlie. Listen, you. Get up there. Get over there at the table. Get up there at the table. Get over there in your chair. You sit right down there. Oh! Danny! Come over here. Get up there in your chair. And you sit down. Put your hat on your head. Stay where you are. You hear me? I'm gonna get in the room. Oh, I don't know if it's worth the forty-five dollars. All right. Oh, boy, you're something. You're really something. You three. Oh. All right, finish, finish, finish. Turn around, turn around. Sit up in the chair. Give oh. your hat on. You look better. Listen. I forgot, I got a burp for you, Bobby. Bobby, you've got to be burp. Bobby, you can't drink the whole thing. Bobby. Oh, boy. Bobby, now look, it's either you or me. Bobby, if you don't mind, or for the kid. Oh, dear. Open your mouth. She's never going to let go of the bottle. I might as well give it to you. Chew for a while. Bobby, you got to be burped, kid. you got to be burped. Every baby has to be burped. A minute. Now, up you go. Oh! That was a huge yay. Yeah, that was a huge... Listen, turn on the television. Turn it on. See what we got on there. Wait, leave some, leave some. Oh, Danny. He ate it all up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you love me? Do you love me? I love you, dear, but I can't leave my husband. Why not? Oh, 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 oh. Why Charlie, my turn wife? it off. But Turn it off, Charlie. You're too young for Peyton Place. <laughs> oh. Look, you've got to go to sleep. You know it's way past your bedtimes, too. I haven't even got the baby to sleep yet. All right, now listen. Behave yourselves. Behave yourselves. I'm going over here and sing to the baby. Oh. Bobby, you got to go to sleep. You just got to go to sleep, sweetheart. You just gotta go, boys, please, please, Charlie, come here. Charlie, come here. Charlie, 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 come here. I don't want you riding that now. Come here. Now, you stay right here. Sit down. Now, just stay there for a second. You hear me? Huh? Just stay there. <laughs> rock a -bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will <laughs> Is that a commentary on my singing? <laughs> what do you mean with that? Look, a Barbara Streisand, I'm not. <laughs> when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby cradle. <laughs> all right, all right, you don't want me to sing, I'll play. I'll play, all right, you got it, I got your message, kid. Come on. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, come on now. <laughs> All right, Charlie. You think you can do any better? You play. Bobby, I wish you'd go to sleep.
Well, Charlie, that was wonderful. <laughs> Oh, not Jin again. <laughs> Listen, all right, we've had it. Now, come on, you two boys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I never saw such going on. <laughs> Will you stop the monkey business? Oh, watch it, Lucy. You're cracking up. Stop it. Hey. Danny. Will you go outside, please? <laughs> Danny. young lady. You're going to get right down there in that bed right now. Do you hear me? It's way past your bedtime. Now lie down. What are you doing? What? Oh, love. Is her saying her prayer? Oh. oh, what a darling little baby. You said her prayer. getting a sitter for her baby. Oh, is her baby a monkey, too? Of course not. You can see for yourself. Hey, sis, come on in. Bring the baby with you. 